So now that we've talked about what um, how water kind of behaves in terms of its dissociation and being able to figure out the hydronium ion concentration and the hydroxide ion concentration, now we can move forward to talking about pH, which is kind of a, a more common scale that's used, mainly because it's just a number usually is between 0 and 14. There are cases where it can go outside of that range, but that's not anything um, you guys need to be concerned with for this class. Um, so pH is basically defined by this equation up top here where it is the negative log of the H3O plus concentration. So first we talk about the dissociation of water and calculating H3O plus using the, um, remember, H3O plus times OH minus is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So using that equation, we can find the H3O plus usually, and then you plug the H3O plus in here, and then you can figure out the pH. So pH is going to be negative log of the H3O plus concentration. So when the H3O plus is 1 times 10 to the negative 7, the pH is going to be exactly 7. If the pH, or sorry, if the H3O plus concentration is greater than 1 times 10 to the negative 7, right, it's going to be more acidic, the pH is going to be less than 7, so the low pH is going to be acidic. And then when the uh, pH is less than 1 times 10 to the negative 7, right, that means it's going to be a basic solution. With a basic solution, the pH is greater than 7. All right, so again, the important equation is pH is negative log of the H3O plus concentration, and then being able to relate that um, to whether something is an acid or a base based on the pH. You figure out from the... the pH being greater than or less than 7. Less than 7 is acid, greater than 7 is a base. Okay, so let's go to this equation or this problem here. If the concentration of H3O plus is 1 times 10 to the negative 5th molar, what is the pH? And then is it acidic or basic? Which, by the way, we could answer right away just looking at this um, because we know that um, acid or in base can be determined based on whether or not that number is greater than or less than 1 times 10 to the negative 7. But we'll come back and talk about that here in just a second. So pH is equal to negative log of the concentration of H3O+. plus. That's your go-to equation. So we can say that the pH is equal to negative log. Well, we're already given H3O+, plus here, so we're just going to put in 1 times 10 to the negative 5. So pH is equal to, you type in on your calculator, the log of 1 times 10 to negative 5, and that should give you negative 5, and then you're going to multiply it by this negative 1 here. So the pH is going to equal 5, um, and really 5.0 will work here. Um, one thing I should mention, your book goes into a little bit of details about significant figures for pHs. Um, technically, you actually... Because of the whole log thing, it actually changes. Because this one has two significant figures with a pH, you would actually be one different than that. I'm not going to worry about that at all with you guys. You can just do it the same way we've done it before. So just stick with the two significant figures or however many numbers you have kind of in your number here. So pH is going to be 5 in this case. So the pH is also going to be directly related to this exponent for H3O+. Plus. So Whenever the coefficient is 1, whatever that exponent is, if it's negative 5, your pH is 5. If you had 1 times 10 to the negative 6 here, your pH would be 6. All right, so let's make a little table here to kind of show you how pH works. And again, you should be able to put all these numbers into your calculator, but sometimes I think it's helpful just to be able to see kind of the mental math side of things. So if we made a table that was the concentration of H3O plus versus the pH, okay? So we'll start with kind of a lower number, which is, let's say, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 8. And then let's make a larger number down here, which is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7. So, right, this is going to be increasing going down, right, greater H3O plus concentrations. Well, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 8, the pH is going to be 8. Right? You could type that into the negative log of H3O plus, and you would get 8. 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7, you would get a pH of 7. So now, if you had a number 
that was greater than 1.0 times 10 to the negative 8, but less than 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7. That might look something like 3.0 times 10 to the negative 8. Right? This number here is three times that number there. We multiplied it by 3, right? but it's still not quite as big as this one. And if we were to um, type this number in and figure out the pH, we would say that it is going to be 7.5, right? So if you type in um, negative log of 3.0 times 10 to the eighth, you should get 7.5. So again, you can see the as the H3O plus increases, the pH decreases, right? And that's the trend you should be able to see. Um, and the other point I wanted to make is, right, so the exponent relating to the pH, if you're... Um, prefix here is 1. The exponent is equal to the pH. You just change the sign. So negative 8 here it's negative 7. It becomes 7. Usually though, as long as if this number isn't 1, whatever the exponent is, so this time the exponent is 8 or negative 8, your answer for the pH should be somewhere in the 7 range. And this time it's 7.5. But again, if you kind of figure this out, okay, 3.0 times 10 to negative 8, which two numbers is it between? You should be able to figure out what pH it's in between. So again, this is not necessary for you to be able to understand it kind of with the, without a calculator like this, which is what I'm trying to do. But again, from my experience, a lot of times people have some problems just typing the numbers into their calculator. They'll end up getting a, a wrong answer. So I'm trying to point this out just to have you be able to think through the math a little bit. All right. Um, so here's a different way to look at that same equation. Oh, I should have, before I do that, go back to this one. I forgot this answer. Is this acidic or basic? Well, if the pH is 5, which is what we said, that's less than 7, so it's going to be acidic. Just like we knew from the beginning with 1.0 times 10 to the 5, that's a bigger number, right? If we were to go on our scale down here, there's 1.0 times 10 to the negative 5. That's a much bigger number than 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7, which is kind of our neutral solution. So it's going to have a greater amount of H3O plus to make it acidic. Okay, so now let's go to this problem. If the pH of a solution is 8.5, what is the H3O plus concentration? So again, um, negative log of the concentration of H3O plus is equal to the pH. So this one is going to be a little bit different um, because we're given the pH. So let's go ahead and plug it in. 8 0.50 is equal to negative log of the concentration of H3O plus. Now, how do you get rid of the log and solve for this? So what we're going to do is move the negative sign over here so we have just log of the concentration of H3O plus here equal to negative 8.50. And then if you've come across this in an algebra class at some point, the way you get rid of the log is to raise it by to the power of 10. So you basically you say 10 to the log of the concentration of H3O plus is equal to 10 to the negative 8.50. Anytime you have 10 in a log there, those guys cancel each other out. And it leaves us with just the concentration of H3O plus is equal to 10 to the negative 8.50. And there's a button on your calculator. A lot of times it's kind of like the second function and right above where it says um, log on your calculator. But if you hit that one, you'll be able to get your answer. And this one, you're going to get 3.2 times 10 to the negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 molar. We need to put our molar in there for units. So 3.2 times 10 to the negative 9 molar would be your answer here. Um, this solution, would it be acidic or basic? Well, just looking at the pH, the pH is greater than 7, so that means it's going to be basic. Um, so if you're not comfortable doing the math and going from this equation and solving it down to here, you can simply memorize it this way. The concentration of H3O plus 
is equal to 10 to the negative pH. All right, so then on your calculator, you have to just put in uh, whatever the pH is, put a negative sign in front of it, and then 10 to the negative, whatever will give you the H3O plus concentration. All right, so in talking about the pH, pH is important physiologically. Um, so it's important in a lot of our different places in our body. So for instance, whenever you eat food, your saliva is t typically slightly acidic, um, somewhere in 5.8 to 7.1. And 7.1 would be slightly basic, but that's not the normal condition for your saliva. Usually it's on the slightly acidic side, particularly whenever you're eating. Um, then food is going to go down into your stomach, where you notice that the pH is going to be somewhere between 1.6 and 1.8 usually, which is very acidic. Um, and that helps you digest your foods. And then as it your, leaves your stomach and goes into your intestines, you'll notice that your um, small intestine is basic. Your large intestine is usually going to be slightly acidic. Um, so again, different places in your body are going to have different pHs that allow them to do their roles. So for instance, the enzymes that are involved in breaking down food in the small intestine tend to work it in slightly basic conditions, whereas the ones that are present in the large intestine prefer slightly um, acidic conditions. Um, your blood, pH 7.4, it's slightly basic. Um, that's just a common property for your blood. If your blood moves too far away from 7.4, it actually can be quite problematic. Um, so again, pHs of your body fluids in various regions of your body can vary significantly. Um, and the reason for those changes is usually to do with the function that those particular um, organs are, are playing. 